This is Cook and Cassius Fry from London. We're at the Midland Hotel here in Manchester um, for the Rock and Crawl Show press conference on the 29th of this month in Bolton. With me, I have Thomas Stalker. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Sean. How are you? All right? I'm good, mate. Congratulations on a great win the other night. Um, must be pleased to get that knockout win. Yeah, it takes a little bit, a little bit of pressure that I've been putting on myself of trying to stop people. And, and when you don't look for this, it comes. You know what I mean? So glad to get in. My first stoppage and not get carried away. I'm fighting again the 29th and just stick to me boxing. If it sticks to me boxing and then the stoppages usually do come, so that's, that's it. So, if truth be told, was that playing on your mind that just that stoppage that first Only because everyone want, like, wants to stop people, but I think the press made more of a thing about it and like saying they hadn't stopped no one and that. But um, I think now we've stopped someone, it takes a little bit of pressure off me and just keep concentrate on me boxing and then stoppages will come. So you've got people like Callum Smith moaning that he hasn't getting enough <laughs> rounds in, where he's knocking them out in the first round, and you're not moaning, but it, it works both ways, isn't it? Because you're getting the rounds yourself, and Callum would like the rounds himself, so it's like, yeah. it's a bit of both. But you're going to get the blend, aren't you, as you, as you move up the fights and move up the rounds? Yeah, I think it's so important, though, to actually do the six rounders, then the eight rounders, yeah. and being in them fights where you're doing the rounds, because... Obviously, it's great to, to get people out of there, stay away. But when you are fighting in twelve rounders, you wanna you wanna know that you've you've done a ten rounder or eight rounder before, and, and like it's all experience. So it, it's like, um, do you know what? If I didn't stop no one in my next three, four fights, and I've done uh, another two six rounders or and then another two eight rounders, I'd, I'd be happy because it's it's um, it's getting the rounds in. So and then when you're fighting for titles, it'd be good to to obviously like stop people then. That was my next question. Um, can you can you see yourself fighting for some sort of title towards the end of the year? Uh, it's all up to Eddie and my coaches and my manager. Um, I, I just think I've just got to like I've had four fights now. My fifth fight, the 29th, and uh, maybe hopefully a central area or like I don't want to be too too big, but I'd like to f I'd like to fight for the English title or something by the by the end of the year. Um, and then just see how how I progress. I think um, like I've said, uh, I don't. I hadn't found my feet straight away. We know some people adapt straight away. It took me a few fights, but I feel like I'm getting there now and and and, and get and getting better. So um, it's up to me, me promoter, manager, and trainers. Aside from boxing, where else you been up to, Tom? Boxing. <laughs> uh, just that's all I've been doing. Too. Booked a nice, a nice, uh, a nice holiday to Ibiza for the 15th of July. So I'm fighting the 29th, and then I can get myself out there and just been all all year. I've been non-stop on. I haven't had one drink of. So I'm looking forward to just having a bit of chill time and, and, and a bit of Ibiza song. Is that a bit of you? Do you know what? I've never been to Ibiza. Never been there. Because I'm not really a massive fan of the music, to, to truth be told. I know. I am and I'm not. Not enough to... I know that's a big part of the scene out there. So, I don't know. My missus has been to Ibiza. She went last year. But, I don't know. Never really been my, my thing to go there. This is my fourth time. and. Uh, what, this year? Yeah, well, fourth time <laughs> I've been, yeah. Me, Scott and the, and the Smiths, we've been a bit a couple of times, and uh, the, a GB squad, uh, James, the game, we all, we, uh, when James and uh, Tony Jeffries won the, uh, the medals in Beijing, they paid for us all to go, so I went with them twice, which was which was great, and, and then I've been with uh, Stephen Smith and that, which, is, which has been good, so it's, um, it, best, I think it's the best place in the world, I mean. What do you reckon, a video, Stalker does Ibiza, where I'll just follow you about, I don't think that's a good idea, thinking about it. You wouldn't want to see I me think... drunk. <laughs> are, you bit, are you a bit of a pest when you're drunk? Nah, you know what it is when I have a drink. I get excited, people think I'm on drugs, because I don't, I, don't, I don't drink. When I drink, I'm just like probably hypo and that, you know what I mean? So um, you, you wouldn't want to um, be a big, big, big seller. Big, 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 a lot of rating if you, if you followed me and the lads around, I'd be for five days, tell you that right now. I don't think I can handle it, to be honest. I think it'd be too much for me. <laughs> but um, all right, well, listen, Tom. Thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. Uh, we look forward to seeing you out on the 29th. We will be there. So um, yeah, onwards and upwards for you. Nice one, Coop. Thank you. Right. Coop and Cassius with Tom Stalker here for iFilm London. Thank you very much. <laughs>